Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I'm going to share with a devotion entitled Rot, R O T, and Reproof. Rot or re- and Reproofs. I'm going to read from Genesis 41, verse 38. It says, And Pharaoh said to his servants, Can we find such a one as this, a man in whom is the Spirit of God? You know, they talks about who? Joseph. Proverbs offer two parts to wisdom, the rod and reproofs of life. The rod is used by authority while reproofs are life's way of saying, don't do that again. When someone rebuke you, when someone tell you, when you go to a difficult time and challenges of life and you do things that you're not supposed to do, it tells you, don't do that again. Joseph learned quickly from life's reproofs. Joseph learned from his youthful errors and committed himself to a life of submission to God's will and plan for his life. When Joseph was young, he acted thoughtlessly in revealing all his dreams and his and that his father's and, and his father's favoritism to his brother, he talked big about how the father lived him, how what the father gave him in Genesis 37, verses 3 to 11. After being sold as a slave into Egypt, he appeared to have gained a humility and seriousness that served him well for the rest of his life. I have gone through that in life. When I hear something from God, when I receive a vision from God, I share with people. And sometimes people think that I'm very arrogant. I share with people of what I want to do, what I felt that God wanted me to do. And you know what? Instead of that, people think that I'm showing off. And I've learned through these years, God forgive me. And He has forgiven me. He has been most merciful to me. For some of us, it takes multiple bouts with the rod and reproof to gain perspective, a better understanding, a better way of looking at things. For Joseph, it only took one painful lesson on the downfall to await the proud. From then on, his challenges revealed that his heart was committed to trusting God, that he was sold into slavery by people closest to him because they were jealous and angry with him for his arrogance. When life brings reproofs, they will reveal who we are in our core, right within us. Embrace them and gain wisdom and maturity. If you reject them and forfeit and forfeit the lesson they offer, you and I suffer. One more time. If you reject them and forfeit the lessons offers, you and I will suffer. So therefore, embrace suffering and difficulties and challenges and pain and failure in life. And then you and I will gain the wisdom and the maturity in your life as believers. Remember this. Don't learn it the hard way. Change when God speaks through you or through people. D.L. Moody says, The rough hewing of reproof is only to square us for the heavenly build. When you and I go to rebuild, go to difficult time, go to reproof in life, failures in time, painful things, experiences in life, is to help you and I to learn to become a better person and for a better life. Amen. You have a great day and God bless you. Father, bless your people with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless.